Today, we have a huge parcel to unbox. Like, legit, it's massive. I'm not lying. We're going to be unboxing that today to see what goodies are awaiting inside. Now, just a quick one before we go any further. This video isn't sponsored. I've not been paid to do this video. I also won't get any money from the discount code that you use, which I'll be giving out later on. I have, however, been gifted everything that's in this box. I want to make that very clear. I didn't pay for anything that I've been sent here today, but I'm also not being paid to do it. It. Just because I want to be super transparent and let you know that I'm not being paid for this video But I didn't pay for the things that I've been sent to unbox either I hope that helps clear things up for you and let's get on with the video Now some of you may remember that back in May I last minute shared off of a stand called the Toy Chronicle This was out of the kindness of Gary's heart who works for them He had booked more table space than he thought and asked if I wanted to sell prints off the stand for a bit as he knew that I didn't get myself a table that year. I thought this was super sweet of him and I agreed as I know a lot of people expect me to have a stand at these events so off I went. And let me tell you, I was not expecting the worlds that I was open up to. Designer toys, it's a thing. I had no clue what I was witnessing. I had no clue. Like, none at all so i started speaking to gary about the whole world of designer toys and collecting them and really learned a lot whilst i was there fast forward to now and your girl has a big box of them now some of you may already know what i'm talking about and collect them even yourself but for those of you who don't let's go on this journey together again shout out to gary for sending me all of these goodies in this box i have undone the tape just to make it easier to get into in this video but i haven't peeked inside yet and i'm super duper excited to see what he's packaged up for me so let's stop wasting time chatting even though legit is my favorite thing to do let's see what's in the box hopefully nothing breakable so anyway, as I say, let's stop waffling. Let's get in it. I love the fact that there's branded tables, so still little things. Opening the box, nothing that exciting to see yet. It's so colorful. I can see like peaks of colorful boxes right now. Let's get the tissue paper sort of out of it. There's so much stuff! Like... <laughs> so, so much stuff. It's like Christmas in here. All of the bright colours. I'm like, I have no clue what any of this is. But it's so exciting. I can't wait to, to get amongst it and start showing you what's inside the box. Now, like I said, shout out Toy Chronicle for sending me this box. I do have a discount code for you that I'll be sharing with you later on in this video. And yeah, let's get to it. So the first thing that's taking my fancy in this box is this dumpster fire. Sounds like we're describing my life right now. So this is a final figure and it looks super cute from the box design. And I'm just drawn to the color scheme here. It's a win for the color scheme. Next up from the box is this little gem. No, I'm not talking about this little gem. I'm talking about this little gem. And this is probably where I just completely ruin the names of things here. Apologies already. But I believe it's called Vintage Saka. It says old times variety shop. Here's a close up of all the variations that might be in this box. I guess it's a surprise one, which is always a lot of fun. I just really love the packaging on this one. I can't wait to open it and see which variation I get. Next up in my huge box of goodies is this one. So this one is called Naughty Boy. I think I have Paint Boy from what I can understand. I'm saying I think I have Paint Boy, um, but there's variations on the side too. So I'm assuming I have Paint Boy in this box and these are the other ones you can collect. Next up on this huge box, and I just would like to add that I don't even think I'm anywhere close to the bottom yet, is this one. This one says happy festival present and it's got cute little illustrations on the front of it. Very pastel. I feel like this is another mystery box because you've got all of the variations that you possibly could get inside the box by the looks of it. And you know, the toxic part of me really wants to get like the secret one that no one knows what it looks like because 
who doesn't want that version let's keep going on the box though and see what else is inside i have a cool and cute which looks like the same variation as the naughty boy i would say it's the same designer yep says migo migo i don't know sorry migo if i'm pronouncing that wrong but yeah so i've got a cool and cute lolita and a naughty boy from the same designer range by the looks of it and this one sort of looks like how i'd feel if i was dressed in this outfit too here's a close-up of what i'm talking about now I'm not sure again if that means that I've got the Lolita version because there also is variations on the side of other designs but I'm pretty sure it means that I've got the Lolita version and then these are just the other ones you can pick up uh, but honestly until I open these all up in another video I can neither confirm nor deny if it is next up from the box that never ends baby ghost bear from Dreamyland. Oh my god, like this one is ridiculous. It's like a little sweet shop type looking carton box. I'm in love. Here's a close up of the box itself. Like it's so freaking cute. I love it. And here's a look at the variations that are also available of the character inside. Now I'm assuming that this one might actually be a mystery box again. And that I can get one of these inside this box. I'm legit gonna have an absolute blast opening these all up and seeing what's inside them. But for now, we gotta keep going because this box is still not empty. Like, holy well, the Toy Chronicle. You have sent me so much stuff. And I'm super grateful for that factor. It's gonna be a lot of fun unboxing these and making like loads of content for you all to enjoy. So shout out again, Toy Chronicle. Use the code CANDY10 at the checkout. Remember, I am not being paid to make this video, neither do I get any of the money that comes through using the discount code. The next one that I'm gonna show you might be my favorite so far. It's a Mifsu. Look how freaking adorable this is. Like, ugh. Now there's other characters on the side and it does say that this one is a blind box so I'm assuming it's a mystery what's inside. Hopefully I get that damn dragon though because otherwise I'm going to be very sad. To be honest though there is a couple of other cool characters that I wouldn't be mad at if I got. But we will do a whole other video unboxing all of these just because there's so many of them. This video will be super long otherwise if I'm unboxing the box and then unboxing the boxes boxes. I just think it will make for a whole other video. Maybe I'll try and get some fancy camera angles and stuff too. You know, try and do it nice and professional like the unboxing things that I've seen going round. Anyway, let's continue seeing what's in this box because there's still more stuff in it. Next thing I see is a t-shirt. Look at that. I love how they've even got merch. Let's get it unrolled. Oh, that's sick. It's like a super cool design on the front. And... Ta-da! Their logo on the back too. I guess maybe we should do the rest of the video with this on. Ready? Ha! Sorted. Anyway, where were we before I had a costume change? Ah, uh, yes. Still unboxing this box. The next thing I see is these cute little pins as well, which have the Toy Chronicle all over them. Very cool. I like that. Like, some serious merch here. They're really nice quality as well, like acrylic pins. Very cute. I've never seen ones like this before. I love a good merch moment. Like I said earlier, the tape, the fact that it has the Toy Chronicle wrote all over it. Very cool. This t-shirt is super cute too. Like, very nice work, Toy Chronicle. I believe that there still might be some other figures in the box though. So let's keep diving in. I can see something that is huge. Like, huge. I've got a whole box of a range here by the looks of it. Told you it was huge. So from what I can work out, this is a whole box full of blind boxes. So like loads of these in here, not this specific design, but you know what I mean. So yeah, I feel like I've got loads of little blind boxes from this range. Now this range is called Passengers of the Galaxy. And I'm not gonna lie, they look cute as fuck. I'm gonna try my best to sort of show off what characters are inside. Hopefully you can see and it's focusing. But yeah, there's some really cute characters available from this design. I'd really love to get a space brand Peters. I think that's what it says. But it's so cute, the little skull in the space uniform. I'm there for it. Also, Toxic Me wants a secret one because who doesn't want to unlock a secret or two? But yeah, shout out Toy Chronicle because I was not expecting to get a whole range of something to undo. We will definitely make a separate video unboxing all of these, like I said. I just think it'll be really nice to have like a separate video 
video where we unbox the boxes. Unbox the boxes of the boxes from the unbox video of this, yeah. You know what I'm saying, like one thing at a time, yeah? I just really wanna show off what I've been sent from them because this box has been like staring at me for the longest time. And I don't feel like I've got the equipment to unbox the boxes, the blind boxes, secret boxes, whatever you wanna call them. Yeah, well enough. But I do want to show off what I've been sent because I am just super blown away by the generosity of the Toy Chronicle. And that takes us into, I've got to keep looking in the box still because there's more. No, I do believe it's more merch. And <laughs> talking of Gary, this looks a lot like Gary. Don't tell him I said that. It's stickers. Who doesn't love a good sticker pack, right? Let's get them out and see what's inside. Now I think this one looks like Gary, but like I said, don't tell him. There's some other cool designs too. I'd imagine they're all to do with maybe the people that work with the Toy Chronicle. They've all got their own little character. These are a lot of fun. Super cute. And would you believe it? We're very nearly at the end of this box. I know. It felt like it was never going to end, right? But I promise you we are nearly there because I've got even more stickers. These ones are the Toy Chronicle logo themselves, which are super cute as well. Nice bit of product placement. Everyone loves a freebie as well, especially when it comes to stickers. And lastly, in this box, dum dum dum, we have a tote bag. Ta da! Now, who doesn't love a tote bag? They're super handy nowadays with getting all your shopping in. And just in general, it's a good product placement for a brand. So smart move, the Toy Chronicle. So that's it. This was all that was in my Toy Chronicle care pack. Package. I can't believe you sent me this much stuff. Thank you so much. I'm gonna have the best time unboxing it and we will definitely make it a video here soon. Let me know in the comments below which one you like the look of the most. Do you collect final figures like this? Are you into blind box stuff or surprise boxes? Let me know in the comments below also. I'm very curious because like I said this world is a whole new world to me but Gary over the Toy Chronicle is ace and I'm super happy at the fact that he sent me all of these goodies to get my collection started. Don't forget you can also get yourself 10% off over at the Toy Chronicle by using the discount code CANDY10. Keep your eyes peeled for an unboxing video very soon because I'm itching to see what dragon I got. <laughs>